Today we're launching our super light battery ecosystem. So we've got the SL8s, which power Astro. These are already out and Astros are flying around all over the world using these for power. Um, but today we've got the SL4, which is basically half the size of the Astro pack. It's a 21.6 volt nominal pack, four amp hour. So it's about uh, 86.5 watt hours. Um, we made these specifically for gimbal solutions and, you know, other smaller things like Mobi controller, cameras, that kind of thing. Um, these are, they're built with lithium ion 21700 cells inside. So similar to the cells that you'd find in like electric vehicles. I'll go over the kind of cool features. Um, so the packs have a high power connector in the front. There's a heat sink here. They latch onto these adapters that we built for Movi Pro. Let's go over the menu real quick. So there's a little button here and there's various menus. You can see, let's, let's say you want to know the cell voltages on all the cells. You can come in here and see that everything is 3.65, 3.64 volts. So these are at our storage shipping. There's also a USB-C PD output, which will deliver around 80 watts, depending on the temperature. So you can power your MacBook Pro or whatever other accessories you have on set. These adapters adapt the SL4 to the Movi Pro battery, uh, the original battery tray. Um, and so the SL4s will slide in nice and easy. There's a latch back here that's on each battery. Um, plug those in. And then these mount right to the Movi Pro. We did it this way so that if you have existing cases or whatever solutions for Movi Pro, maybe you're using the original Movi Pro batteries, maybe you're using TB50s, you only want to use these on some of your setups or some of the time. It's totally modular. You can take it on, take it off, use it if you want to. There's also two um, microfit four pin connectors on the front of these adapters that adapt to, or they, they have raw battery voltage, so 22.2 volts up to you know 25 if they're fully charged. So you can power whatever you want via that. You can down regulate if you need 12 volts, 14 volts, whatever. Um, these, these batteries charge using a USB-C charger, which we developed. It's this little brick. I love this. It's tiny, it's small. Everybody already has USB-C power bricks and cables with them on set. So we decided to just leverage that and make our charger use USB-C. So you just plug that into the front of the battery. It's keyed, it can only go in one way. And then plug in the USB-C, plug this into your brick. Hopefully the brick is like 100 watts plus and then it'll charge these uh, SL4s in about an hour, which is a decent charge time. We're getting two to two and a half hours of runtime on a red epic like full cinema setup so you should you know with a couple sets of these if you stay on top of charging you should have a you know one hour charge time two hour run time so the ratio is good enough that if you stay on top of charging you should be able to get by with a couple sets of packs fairly efficiently um, so let's install these on the movi pro so i'm gonna click in this side it's pretty cool we they originally had to bolt them on um, but Ansel came up with the original idea, I think, to make them quick release, which turned out really awesome. Click in. Now we're good to go. We've got a couple hours of runtime, two, two and a half hours. Well, actually, this is a wave, so it's pretty low power draw, so it'd run forever with these. But yeah, you're good to go. These have a great warranty. We guarantee at least 500 cycle life or 500 cycles if you use them in the manner that they. Basically, if you don't violate any of our specs, we guarantee at least 500 cycles. If you don't get 500 cycles, we'll replace it. These cells that we use in both the SL8 and SL4, super reliable round cell um, lithium ion. They've been incredible in our testing. That's why we're pushing to cut over to these completely. We're so much more excited about the performance and reliability of these cells versus lithium polymer um, cells that were in the original Movi Pro batteries. So we feel like this is a big step change in performance and technology. We're going to carry the original batteries for probably three more months of stock, and then we'll be cutting over to these exclusively. Um, if you are an existing Movi Pro customer, we'll send you an email and update you as to all the different options if you want to change to these batteries in the future or not. The other thing I want to mention is that we tested the living crap out of these batteries, and they are tough 
They are water resistant. Some might even say waterproof. I have video, I think, of Charles running these things underwater. And so, to put my money where my mouth is, I was going to take this Topo Chico and give this guy a little say cheers. There we go. <laughs> Oh, that's so painful to do. Why would you do that? Such a bad idea. Oh, are you going to be okay? Oh, that was such a bad idea. I think he's okay, though. Let's see. He's okay. He doesn't care. I wonder if he prefers Topo Chico or is it like a LaCroix or a Spindrift? I, well, hopefully these batteries last a long time and are like elegant and refined, so they'll be more like a Pellegrino. If they were going to drink anything, hopefully it would be Pellegrino with the lime. You know, a nice slice of lime. I feel like that's classy. Does anyone have a towel or a napkin or anything? I think the other thing to touch on is these batteries are open, so we've got all the CAD and all the info that you need to interface with them. Um, there's an open API, so if you're another company that's developing something and you need a battery solution, you know, something similar to either one of these, you can go to our wiki. You can, down, you can figure out how to interface with the API. You can get all the data that you need from our BMS that'll give you, you know, information to run your product safely. And we're gonna continue building out uh, solutions for power systems. We have an, an, another adapter plate that'll come sometime this summer that has a whole bunch of outputs in case, if you wanna use it on a camera or a you know, robot, or we're gonna use it on scooters, just kind of everything. So all the fun little electric scooters that you see free fly cruising around on and all of our little electric toys, as we get time, we're slowly switching them over to SL4 and SL8. Um, yeah, and I would say if you have a use case that you want to explore uh, powering with our super light batteries, just reach out to our power systems team and uh, they, can, they can help you out. So I'm excited to get these out, out in the world and see them on Movie Pros. Thanks. Thanks.